what's up guys welcome back again to another episode for the best apps for the android phones in which we used to take a deeper look and a closer look on the, all the apps of the particular kind as well as done previously and told you a couple of episodes before like i'm finding out the best camera apps for the android phone in 2016 we already have done a couple of episodes so get the link in the show with notes so these are done three months back so right now i have done all the 17 apps i have done so if you just go on the play store and uh, You'll see a lot of apps are there. You just type camera there and you will get so many apps there. So I have not considered apps uh, that comes in the selfie category because I'm just looking for a camera app that can work, you know, with the back camera, not the front and all. Also, I have not taken a look of the especially editor based app. For example, you can say pip camera. This is editor apps I have not taken. And also I've taken the conditions like uh, if the app is uh, have the at least 4.0 or 4.0 more than that rating then i have taken that under consideration it has not been uh, you know uh, got an update from many of the months like six months to one year old so that camera also i have taken a look but so let's take a look what are the first cam uh, cameras that i have taken reviews on that one so these are all the 17 cameras that i have taken a look on guys so and now let's just start so i will first go on the uh, this uh, play store and type the camera so i will open the apps from here so that you can get to know the name because if you go there you can see most of the apps have the name only camera 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 so you will just get confused of them and also if you see here like this is also named camera camera and so uh, instead of you won't get confused i have taken the options to open the apps from here i will give you my suggestion which app i am using and which you should use but at the end i will also leave it to you guys because uh, everybody has a different kind of uh, you know choice and perspective somebody wants uh, you know much sharpen image and much exposed images somebody wants natural images so i will leave it to you all so let's begin and see so first camera i have we see here is called camera for android so we'll take a look on the camera ui and everything and whatever pros and cons i find out so this is how you open the camera app as you can look so there is not much uh, manual control here if you just uh, press here you will get a uh, simple this uh, turn the flash off and uh, also you will get the setting manual you can directly click here you will get the setting stuff here so this is all you will get uh, picture size uh, it, take, it takes maximum of the 8 megapixel images not more than that so definitely not recommended if your phone has more so for example nexus 6p has a 12 megapixel this is takes only 8 so definitely wasted of pixels so nothing much options here guys uh, also it supports only 1080p video resolutions not more than that so if you're looking for 4k so you will get disappointed let's take a look on the sample images from taken from this camera So our next camera app is called HD Camera Ultra. This is how the interface looks like. So there is a bug. Uh, so don't forget to check that out in the, my previous playlist and link the show bar notes. Here's the video title. So interface wise it's nice and pictures uh, looks fine here as you can see. And it takes uh, nice clear images. And uh, uh, you will see ads here during that one and it has no video recording so let me tell you so it's not uh, going to help you you will see like ads are here no manual control except zoom which is not working and sometime i tried there and uh, for example if you click here you will see zooms and you will only get this uh, you know uh, auto options like uh, there's no uh, manual tuning control if you want to tune according to you so you will just get all the scene modes white balance and not much if you go to the setting here uh, there is not further options, uh, volume buttons and save photo SD card so uh, not much as you want flash option is here so pretty simple camera app guys and uh, let's take a look on the sample images So our next camera app is called open camera and this is nice camera app guys i am recommending you so it's really nice it's based on the open source code Im images are not that bad it's good you can see uh, it takes sharp images if you take a print and now let's look at the options so it supports 4k visualizations 
no manual controls just uh, you know uh, predefined commands base you have to select and you got lot of customization if you go to setting and you can print like timestamp gps location bus timer uh, on screen ui and uh, photo video settings you got lot of frame rate option you can change the uh, enable video stabilization if your phone doesn't support ois then you can use these things so, so impressive camera app guys so this is one of my recommended cameras you can take it if you see the options you will get uh, auto focus manual focus white balance and uh, some scene modes are there camera resolution and uh, video resolution timer mode no timer mode selected so anyway interface looks nice it shows the time here you can change the options it shows the number of memory freeze shows the battery percentage too and you can take a zoom here and it's kind of nice here if i zoom here you can see uh, some nice is there this is indoor picture so we can expect this so now let's take a uh, sample images for that So our next camera app is called Camera MX. So guys, this uh, app I've used a lot for my filming videos. So uh, to be frank, uh, it overexposes the images and the moment you turn on the camera images, it will increase your phone brightness. So that is a con because uh, it really drains battery very fast and your phone gets heated up a lot. And uh, images, as I said, are much exposed, but uh, it has options like uh, no ads are there, 4K videos are supported. No manual control, just whatever predefined concept. Again, live shot is there. That is very nice feature. If you just have to uh, hold on your camera for a couple of seconds, and uh, first need, you need to enable that, then you will get uh, live effects here. So if you change, I guess uh, you need to enable the settings. And now let's take a look. It suppose 4K, as I said, you can see uh, you can make up to 4K resolution. It is there, uh, no problem in that. Uh, interface is nice clean simple you will get full view that is very nice thing you can easily switch between the camera and photos and all things so uh, for the people who really like much exposed images much sharper color so you can go ahead with that so let's take a sample images for that Our next camera app is called HD camera it's called photo auto rated and 1 million download that's why I consider it there so it's been updated more than six to eight months uh, back so definitely uh, not worth trying that and the UI is very good guys but no video recording and depends upon other camera app. if you try to go to switch to the video mode it will try to open another app and you can see it shows a lot of option but the good thing is that it got a barcode scanner you don't need to depend upon any other cameras for example you can see uh, it shows the exactly the barcode reader if you click here select that you will try to scan the barcode you can easily change it back so it's kind of nice and some of you can enable the grid lines you can have some effects too mono portrait size solarize so a lot of effects here photos are nice and as i said for the camera mode you need to depend on other for example if i press on the camera so i've selected google camera to open by default so this is google camera it opened so it has no built-in uh, camera app video recording itself so you can change the selfie mode and everything now let's take the sample images Our next camera app is called HD camera for Android. So I'm not going to review it guys because it is has same feature, same design, same exactly for our first camera app called camera for Android. So both are same, but uh, you know, publishers are different. Definitely they have taken some same code base. So you can take a look on, uh, I will just uh, show you guys exactly opening here. So maybe you will see the, go back to rewind to the previous uh, part of the videos and the start, you can see it has exactly the same camera interface. So I'm not going to cover it that. So our next camera app is called Z camera. So this is really nice camera guys. Uh, 10 million rated 4.4. So this is also one of my recommended camera app. And this is very nice. It got a lot of features, uh, private album features there. 
and uh, you can lock your album so features as nice but there's no 4k recording supports hdr no manual control except white balance and pictures are really nice and you can see it does uh, maintains uh, sharper things so no issues on that if you even click that it takes faster and it shows here you can go down and take on the images takes time to save and here is what you can zoom that if you click here white balance you can zoom it that way and you can see so interface is nice everything is fine uh, you will get uh, hdr mode here non hdr mode nothing more than that let's take a look on the setting so it has a uh, front size of it so it utilizes some of these things but uh, back video size is not more you can see uh, i just take the 33 megapixel sizes so it's more than uh, uh, 1080p not more so video quality is not much clear i did check that and also photos uh, let me check the photo resolution the photos are perfectly fine 12 megapixel uh, no problem at all and if you select the video mode there is no 4k resolution guys and that's what i tell you so if you have to compromise or just on the camera images so you can definitely go and try this camera app now let's take a look on the sample images from this camera Our next camera app is called uh, HD Camera Para Android HD Cam. It's got 4.1 rated, 100,000 dollars. Not very old camera. App. Uh, it looks like some Russian. I don't know what is that. Definitely looks like not UK US based language. So it takes times. It's also same as camera for Android and HD camera for Android. So I'm not going to review it. You can see they also use the same camera app. So anyways, I have taken the sample images from uh, these camera apps. You can definitely take a look on that one. So you will get ads here. camera app is called HD camera ultimate for android it's also good 4.3 rated 500,000 so not bad either let's take a look so it's supposed 1080p video resolutions ads are there and pictures are taken only 1920 by 1080 and interface wise simple you can see we'll get ads but interface is quite nice if you go to the setting uh, you will see the size you can see photos are only 1920 by 1080 resolutions so definitely this is very bad stuff and also if you switch to the video mode uh, if you check the size resolution you're also getting 1080p mode so uh, it's a limitation if you are using a camera app just for sharing pictures and photos so this is nice it's uh, save a lot of space for you and definitely it will preserve your battery life also now let's take the uh, sample images for this camera app So next camera app is called high quality silent camera 2 so i have considered it because it has 4.2 rated as i said and also 1 million download but it's not been updated from a long time but anyway i considered that just to give you guys idea if you're going to download that camera app so how the images and all looks like so uh, you can see you will see ads here uh, right right and no, no manual control and just uh, a predefined collections like scene modes and everything no video recording is there and hasn't been updated from two years as i said and interface wise it's fine and uh, nothing much impressive here and uh, let's see the option i call uh, review time uh, speakers number time second video uh, vibrate mode and this is some kind of basic shooting continuous shooting timer shooting and this is called zoom and uh, flash option we have the selfie mode changer so uh, nothing much impressive from here i just have taken a consideration now let's take the sample images from this uh, camera first 